Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the vlog. How is everyone doing today? I hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Something really unfortunate happened last night. And this is it. I don't know what happened. Um, this is like my footage from like that day that I went thrifting. And they're all like in iPhoto. And I uploaded them and everything. And um, every time like I click on something, it says that it can't find the file. So I don't even know what to do. Because... I already deleted um, all the things from my SD card, so I guess I'm just going to just have to film the haul videos because I don't know. I I looked for like I tried to search for them, um, and I don't know. Just like the little thumbnails are there, and other than that, like yeah, all gone. So I'm super sad. Um, unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to do like the thrifting videos for these um and i'm just gonna have to do the haul videos for the bags that or for like the stuff that i found um so yeah it's really unfortunate <laughs> but um i promise i'll do like a more i'm gonna go out thrifting again um so i can get more footage and stuff um to make more videos for you guys but like so, so i went to like i went to six stores that day too so, mom went to Whole Foods and she got this fancy bread. Yeah. Oh, fancy hamburger buns? So I can eat French brioche hamburger buns? Yes, yeah, so I can eat it with my. And she got this fancy, fancy butter. Fancy butter from France. From France. All the way from France. Wow. How did she bring it and it didn't get squished? It's um, like stewardess. So. Oh. <laughs> I want to try it with this honey peanut butter. I want to try it with this. <laughs> it's so yummy. Okay, try it. I want to know how it is. They said they have shortage of this in France. The you hear? brioche or the butter? The butter. No. Yeah. Why is there a shortage? Oh, because uh, it's too delicious. Shortage of milk. A shortage of milk? Yeah. Because it's too delicious. What kind and of butter has, is this? This one has um, salt, like. Uh, You know, salt inside it, like those, um, what do you call that? Speckled of salt? Speckled salt. <laughs> Speckled salt. Are you going to heat it up? Or is this gonna no, I'm like just going to eat it like this. Okay, tell me how it is. <laughs> I not taste anything. <laughs> Sell them mad. I think mad means water, like mm, the sea. It's good. You taste it. The let me have it. Let like... me have it. Break me off a piece, so I can try it. Does it have... I don't even think there's butter in this piece, mom. Mom, there's no butter in this piece. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And then you get all the butter. Okay. Mmm. Remember now. See? Taste it? That's good. It's different, huh? Now I want to try this. Alright guys, I am heading over to the Goodwill. I'm going to see if they have any cool games for the Wii. Because I saw some the other day, but I didn't know if the Wii was working. So now that it is, I want to go get some cheap games for the kids that I know they're going to like. I saw like the Batman Lego game and some other ones I think they're going to really enjoy. So they have the whole day off today from school, so I'm going to go get them for them. Hopefully, if they're still there. And mom's making some food. So I'm going to make it like a quick trip really fast and go over there and get um, some games for them. And then when I come back, I'm going to eat because I'm hungry. And then um, I think maybe we'll go to more Goodwills. <sighs> it's so sad that all my footage got lost. I'm like, I'm like really like legitimately, I'm like really sad about it. Um, but we'll make it work. So um, I'm going to head off right now and let's go. All right, you guys, just got to the Goodwill. So today, the sale color of the day is green. So anything green tag should be a dollar. Um, I'm not really expecting to find anything green that I want, but hopefully find something good. All right, they have the Batman one. Indiana Jones. 
we fit, we play. I think I have something like that already. They have a bunch of Wii games. Oh, Super Mario Galaxy. The Hulk, Shrek, Guitar Hero. They have a bunch of dolls too. Like vintage maybe? I saw this Steve Madden and got kind of excited because I thought it was a Rebecca Minkoff at first. But it's Steve Madden and it's pleather. But if you guys remember, in one of my um, videos I actually found the Rebecca Minkoff that looks exactly like that. But that one has this sold already. And I'm just looking through the rest of these handbags, seeing if I can find anything else kind of cool. I just found this Coach Poppy fabric. It's actually not in the worst condition, um, but it's $30. So I'm gonna hold off on that right now. Um, let's see what else they got here. Oh, this is that fake doing it. What does it say on there? Dion, Dion, I don't even know. Oh, this is that one bag that's like super expensive. That was like 60 bucks. It's cute though. Let's see a couple juicies. I wonder if any of them are green tag. They are both purple, so that means they were on sale yesterday for $2, but eh. It's okay. Nine West. They got a lot of bags. Oh, this Michael Kors is still here. No wonder they're not picking it up. Now that I see it, I feel like I kind of want to get it again. <laughs> but $20. I don't know. What's this? Simply Vera? Do you guys like Simply Vera bags? Let me know down in the comments below. Look how cute this bag is. It's kind of like a fake Louis Vuitton. Yes. I always think this one's a Rebecca Minkoff too whenever I see it, but it's not. Oh, they still have this giant fake Celine. And it's a red tag, so it's still not on sale. What is this, a Kate Spade? <gasps> Stop. 20 bucks? I don't think that's too bad for this. I really like the color. It's actually not in horrible condition. This one might be a go. I had to show you guys this like <laughs> a fake Chanel bag. I think it's like it's in the style of a Louis Vuitton, but it has like the Chanel as Z F U I all over it. It's kind of funny. It even has like a Chanel lining. I almost want to buy it because it's kind of cute, but <laughs> it's not in the best condition. And it's like definitely just pleather anyway. I just noticed they changed the color of the week to purple. So purple tags are half off at least, which is cool. There's a lot of purple stuff right now. I guess it, I think they just changed the color today or yesterday or something. Should keep a lookout for purple also, in case there's anything good. I think pretty much all the good stuff that I found so far has been like red. This is an interesting globe. But no. Kind of like that blue thing, I don't know why. That's just me being <laughs> my old grandma self. Look how cute has a little heart on top. Okay, back to searching. Do -do 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 -do. Little Buddha, little monkey peoples. That tall glass thing is kind of cool. Oh, this Kermit lunch box. How oh, funny some kids like wrote. There's their names on it. 
was originally ten dollars, I guess. There's a sticker still on the bottom. The Hermitage. Look at this vintage plate. I was just gonna say it looks like a Pyrex plate. That's actually pretty cool. It's really like scratched though. Take a look at this. Like a gravy boat? That almost like literally fell out of my hands. <laughs> Stoneware. I actually really like this. It's pretty. I like the color combination, like the color blocking of the white and the gray. That's pretty. And I'm thinking about getting it. I do like stoneware. I do want to start like a good stoneware collection. <gasps> or a raccoon collection. How cute is this little raccoon like from World Market? That's cute. I think that's it for the mugs. They do have a Stella and Dot bag that looks very similar to Rebecca McClough. They have a bunch of these cacti artwork things. $4.99. That is actually a really nice print. What is this? Oh, of course, it's Ansel Adams. That's why I love it. Ansel Adams is amazing. $12.99. This is actually really pretty, too. Looks like someone painted this themselves. Yeah, it does look like someone painted it themselves. That one's $8.99. Peace. Love, baby. Oh, zebras. You guys, look at this dollhouse. It looks like someone made it. Let's go around to the other side. Oh, how cute. It even has stairs. There used to be a rug. Rugs, plural, like three. $14.99. This thing is so cool. Power antenna for a satellite. <gasps> what is this? It's like painted on corduroy. That is interesting. It's like a tap, like a painted tapestry type deal. Is it weird that I kind of like it? It's 40 bucks. Why is the camera not focusing anymore? There it is, 40 bucks. How cool is this? We have a bunch of TVs. There's a Sharp, and there's an LG. They have this Paul Smith shirt. It was actually really cute, Paul Smith London. It's a large, but it looks tiny? I don't know, why does it look so short? It is a green tag, so it would be a dollar, but I don't know. Looks like it was like cut weird or shrunk. All right, you guys just left. Got my stuff. Time to eat. Just got home. Let's go eat. I'm so excited. Mom's trying out the new bag, and the kids are going crazy with the game. Yay! Kate Spade. I got a cute little baby. Hi, baby. Hey guys, okay, so I didn't actually end up going thrifting because I actually wanted to work on like cleaning up and um, getting the bags ready to post online because so many people have been messaging me and if you have messaged me, I'm so sorry I haven't gotten back to everyone yet. I've gotten like a pretty large amount of messages and I just want to just get everything up um, as soon as possible. And right now I'm working on this Michael Kors bag. It does have a little mark right there and I'm hoping just a little leather conditioner will get it out. So let's, um, let's see what happens to it when I try to clean it up. And I'm happy to announce that it did come right out. So this one is gonna be good to go. Now let me work on some more bags. Uh, let me show you, I'll show you like quick befores and afters of each of the bags while I work on them. Um, 
but not necessarily like, show you guys the process. I'm just, this, I think, pretty much, I'm just going to be doing conditioning and cleaning, and I'll show you guys before and afters. Now, this gorgeous um, vintage coach, this is the one that's made in Italy. Um, the corners are a little bit light right there, and I'm just going to do a quick color refresh. And I'm going to be using my favorite Kiwi leather dye. And I'm just going to be touching up those corners. And I think I need to, oh, and I need to clean the bottom of it really quick as well. But... Yeah, it's such great condition otherwise. Alright you guys, so I, I fixed up the bottoms, the corners, and it's looking fantastic. And I'm just going to let it sit over there and let it dry. Up next is this beautiful moral berry. I just need to um, condition it up. There are some marks on the bottom, so um, the corners actually look pretty good. And there's a little thing on the back as well, so we're just going to clean this guy up. Alright you guys, so there's the bottom. Conditioned it right up. It looks nice and beautiful and cleaned up the back of it as well so it is looking stunning i love this bag so much still don't know if i'm gonna sell it yet up next is this coach bag it does have like these light marks on the front if you can yeah you can totally see those on there so i'm gonna condition this up there um is also a little bit of color transfer on the back not too bad so i'm not really gonna concern myself too much with it because it's on the back but I'm primarily going to focus on the front and hopefully those marks will get out and if they're after I condition it. Alright, this is kind of how it turned out. So, when this happens, um, that usually means that like the superficial top layer of like maybe a finish that was put on the leather has, um, has been removed from like a scratch. And that's definitely what it looks like. So that's why it darkens because that's just the underside of the leather that's like untreated because the top part got like removed. So it absorbs the leather lotion and then it darkens. So um, there's a chance that it'll stay a little bit dark or it'll go back to how it was like a little lighter. Or it actually might turn back into the same color because the color is still there but it's just the finish that was taken off so we're gonna see once this bag dries I know it's a little bit confusing to understand but um yeah so on to the next bag all right up next is this beautiful Chloe um, there is darkening on the corners right there which I think like I, I'm pretty sure that's not really gonna come out it might lighten a little bit but there are like some stains right there along the side uh, primarily right there so I think we'll be able to get that out with a little leather lotion but other than that the bag is in fantastic condition and these corners are not really too noticeable at all anyway so um yeah so let's get on this bag right now let's see what else it needs yeah a lot of the corners that's just it's because those parts are the most like um get the most friction when you're using it so a lot of the time that finish just like gets rubbed off over use but um still a beautiful bag regardless and none of it is really very obvious all right you guys i'm super excited because they came right out and yeah so the bag i just conditioned the whole thing um like i said these parts are not going to get any like cleaner but i did get them a little bit lighter so um some of that it was dirt so like when you condition it out some of that dirt will still lift out and make it a little bit lighter but it's not gonna completely go away because that is just from the loss of the finish of the leather all right up next is this beautiful tory birch there's a little bit of dirt right there on the handle um the edges this is color like this is definitely the finish has come like has come off of it you can see that it's a lot lighter and you can actually see like the grain is kind of gone because it's smoothed out um we'll see what happens when we get the leather conditioner on there but i actually think i might want to do a color touch up right there because the finish of this leather um this is actually like kind of painted on it's not a dye so should be able to clean it up but there's like a lot of dirt on the bottom of the bag you can see it right there this bag hides it really well though there's a lot right there too on this um kind of corner right there and then that's just like glitter or something what is that oh it looks like a little diamond where did that come from anyway yeah so we're gonna condition this up and see how it looks after hey guys so here is this bag all that stuff came right off the white stuff right there came off as well the corners 
Oh, there's still a little bit right there. But, um, it did come off. I just need to get the rest of it. I didn't even notice until I looked again. Um, as you can see here, the corners did get, like, red. They were, like, um, a lot lighter before. So the conditioner did bring out, um, some of that old color that was in there. But the finish definitely is gone. So it's not really the worst. Um, I might just leave it alone so it, like, it did turn kind of red again. And that's for all four of the corners. And the stuff on the handle did just come right off too, so that's good. Now this Coach Beauty I am like so in love with. It has a lot of marks on it, so I definitely need to condition it up really, really well. Um, the corners are really like worn, but let's see how beautiful we can get this leather back to looking. Especially because this is like, I believe this is the glove leather, and the glove leather conditions pretty well from Coach. So I wanted to show you guys the leather. I did this, like just this little strip right here, and you can see like that liner demarcation. So it does do like an amazing job, the conditioner. So like look at this like dark spot right here, or this light spot I mean. Watch what happens when I put conditioner on it. So it just like conditions up. And then see that mark, those marks right there in the middle? And that's how it looks now. So let me just condition up the rest of this bag and show you guys how it looks. Alright, there's the bag. You guys, it looks so good. It like got a lot of the marks, kind of like, like especially the light superficial marks. They're like totally gone. So it's so beautiful. I actually like this bag, like the way it looks like when it's kind of like worn. Like I think it's beautiful. It's like the gloved leather from Coach just looks better with time. And this triple zip is like amazing. Up next is this Prada. There's not really anything to it. I just want to condition a little bit. Some of the corners are like mark, like have like a little wear. And there is like a scratch along the bottom. So I'm going to see how well I can clean it. But um, the Safiano type leather, like once it scratches, that's kind of like it for it, or like gets those marks. Um, a little paint can probably cover it up though, but they're not like too horrible. I might just leave them. And the handles are pretty good. Yeah. Next up on the handbag cleaning docket is this coach. There is a lot of lightning right there along um, the top corners of the bag and some on the bottom of it as well. Let's see how well the conditioner works on this. Alright, so here's this bag. It's looking beautiful. Um, the corners, like, really, there's nothing you can do about them. They're just gonna be like that. Um, and this leather is just so soft. And if you don't condition this, that kind of leather, like, the it does, like, lose the color faster. So, um, and then when you do condition it, sometimes some of the color comes back. I feel like it definitely is a lot more vibrant than it was. And if you guys remember, this is one of those $3 bags that I bought from the Goodwill the other day. So, um, yeah, I think it's looking pretty good for $3 at this point. So there's that one right now. All right, up next is this Kate Spade. This one, like, for some reason, I'm, like, I love this bag so much. The leather is so stunning. I love the style of it. Um, and this leather is really cool because it's, like, super smooth. And it's, like, a, a little bit more structured leather. Now, this one does have um, some, like, kind of water staining. But I kind of like it. Um, but let's see how much the conditioning will... Um, affect it. I probably won't do anything to it, to be honest. But, um, let's condition it up anyway. I just like to condition every bag that I get, regardless of whether or not, um, they're, like, dry or have anything, because it's just good to condition them, because I'm, I just want them to be, like, nice and supple for, like, whoever buys them, and, and like, they'll be good to go. Alright, like I thought, it didn't really do anything, but now it's nice and conditioned. Yay! Now here's the wallet that goes with it. This one has a lot of drying on the corners um, and needs to be cleaned up. So let's see how well we can clean this guy. All right, there's the wallet. It did like kind of fix up the corners just a little bit. They're not as like white and cracked as they looked, but yeah, looking good. All right, up next is this Birkin style bag. Um, we need to address these bottom parts right there. And see if we can, I don't know if they're dirt or what, but we'll clean them up. Alright, I guess it was just dirt because it just came right off, so. Yay! 
All right, now this one's up next. The corners are um, actually pretty dry looking. There's a mark down there. And I actually think it's like eyeshadow or something because um, it's like kind of metallic-y. I think that's what was on the other bag too. And there's like a dark kind of mark right there. Um, so let's clean up this bag. All right, she's looking beautiful. The corners are considerably better. So I think she looks great. I'm gonna show my mom all the bags that I found. And also, I'm gonna fry some egg rolls. And she made balabok, which is so delicious. Can't wait to eat some. Frying up the egg rolls. My egg rolls are all done and they look delicious. Also, mom went through all my bags. And these two are her favorites. So, now I gotta clean up. So the other day, the grill wasn't working. Like the barbecue. Like what happened? They literally had to dig this all up. Like I don't even know what's happening right now. But it is a super duper hot mess. And I have no words. I don't know what's happening. All right, guys, so right now I'm actually working on photographing bags. Um, this is that beautiful mulberry, mulberry tote that I just got. It's so pretty. And so that's what I'm currently doing right now. So if you guys are watching this and were interested in any of these bags, I have them all down there, and I'm currently photographing everything. So I am trying to win this bag right now on eBay, and I'm just counting down the minutes. There's a few minutes left. It's at 360. I know 425 is a little much, but I've been wanting like this bag for a while, and this is actually a really good deal on it. So I'm just waiting. Hopefully it doesn't go over this, because this is my max budget right now for this. Oh my gosh, you guys. I am counting down the seconds. 45, 44. Okay. It's at 369. Hasn't gone any higher than that yet. I'm hoping that it's under 425, but I'm also hoping to win, so, um, yeah. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, 4, 3. What? Oh my gosh, I think I won, I think I won, I think I won, I think I won, I think I won. I think I won, right? I won. <gasps> Hey guys, okay, so I'm actually going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I had a blast. Um, I'm working on finishing up the photos um, for the bags that I'm putting up in the shop tonight. I don't know if I'm going to get all of them done because I still have a lot to go. Um, and I still have to work on my videos for tomorrow. So I'm actually going to work on my videos for tomorrow first and then finish the or try to do as many of the bag photos as I can. But definitely check out the shop because hopefully I'll have everything posted. I'm not sure. I think I might try to go thrifting again tomorrow because I have all that lost footage. So I want to make sure that I have um, content for you guys. Um, and yeah. So that concludes today's video. Thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me today. I had a blast. Hope you guys did too. Don't forget to subscribe so we'll be updated when I do post new videos. I do post videos every single day at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time and at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs> Looks like a beauty almost. Pretty much um, just leather bags so far. Still staying positive, maybe we can find a treasure down here somewhere. Urban Expressions.